so fresh off the press today so this is in the UK so you know I just woke up and I saw that it was released so I had to make a video about this this is really cool uh, this is why people use Raspberry Pis is because of the developers and the people behind it all are constantly making it better constantly optimizing it so the experience is better updating all the the, the um, software you know that's why video game systems become obsolete is you know they just stop getting support and Raspberry Pi is the opposite it's one of those devices that continue to uh, evolve and uh, something great about all this is like I think I just read somewhere that Raspberry Pi is like the top five or top three most sold computers now at over 12 million units sold so I don't see this going any anywhere anytime soon I can see I see the development to continue so all good things all around I know I know there's one thing that you all wish which is Raspberry Pi 4 and uh, that's on everyone's wish list we'll see about that but something we can be excited about today is release of 4.2. Now, uh, here's some things about the release that they release. Some things I'm really excited about that really affect me is, you know, the updated retro arc, which is really good. We have now video support for Emulation Station, which is a huge improvement to be able to get video previews and video support on there. Um, they updated all the emulators from SNES. They added the the um, libretro port for that. They uh, also added for the Nintendo 64. Um, they also added, which is not really new, is the um, Nintendo DS emulator, the Drastic. But now there's a new Sega Saturn emulator as well. So that's really cool. And then a couple other emulators that, you know, the MAME 2016 is probably another one that's on my top three. But then they also got some other ones that they've added. Um, they've also added a new Atari, fixed an Atari one. Um, they fixed something with Doom, which isn't really that big of a deal. Um, but with the Pixel, for all you Odroid fans, you're getting support now. Kodi 17 is now installable from the options packages. Um, they fixed a lot of things in the in the in the actual settings and config files, and they move things around as far as what goes in the options packages and what goes in the core packages. So a lot of really, really cool stuff. USB ROM support change. So Scraper has been updated. That was having some issues, so I'm glad that was fixed. Um, all around, really cool to see that they're improving all these things on the, uh, on the system. So really excited about that. So we're gonna go ahead and go to this download page, which I'll link in the description below. And then depending on whether you have a Raspberry Pi 0 or 1 or 2 or 3, I have a 2 or 3. So I went ahead and I downloaded this file already. And as you can see, I have it there. Finished. Takes about 5 to 10 minutes. Go ahead and uh, you want to run an SD format or format your SD card. Then you're going to want to run Win32. Run as administrator. If you're, on an Apple, if you're on an Apple, then you're going to want Apple Pie Baker. Make sure you're on the right device. You do need to extract the zip file to get the IMG file. Once you extract the file, you want to mount it on Win32. So once we find our file, .img open, you can see we have it here, we have it on the right the drive. Let's go ahead and write, continue, yes. This should be a pretty quick write, depending on how fast your uh, micro SD is. As you see, I'm getting about 10 megabytes per second. That's write speed. Remember, a lot of these are rated at read speed, so uh, this should be done momentarily. Once this is done, I'm going to remove it from my computer, and I'm going to put it in my Raspberry Pi 3. Wow, that was fast. Pressed OK. And this is going to be a fresh install of 4.2. As you see, go to RetroPie, RetroPie Setup, and 4.2. Now, if you are um, already have an image already, you're just going to go ahead and update your RetroPie script and then update all installed packages. And that's going to get you the new main, 
the advanced main that it's split up into three versions now, all those things. Let's just go ahead and go into manage packages. This is what it's going to look like for now on for the main packages. For option packages, here you have the three advanced mains right there. Um, none of these are installed right now because this is a fresh boot, but you know, if I was going to add some MAME games, I would add those emulators for sure. So got Rycast, the SNES emulator 9X. I think they have the Libretro, the new one as well. Yeah, it's probably in here. Yeah, so there's the new SNES 9X. They updated that. You got your Kodi. It doesn't say, I guess you just install it and it automatically goes to the 17. Super Mario War is on the package. So I don't know if that's new or not. I never noticed it before. But they have Super Mario War on there. And then they have that scraper that they updated on the update as well. Drivers. XPad comes pre-installed. These other ones seem pretty typical of the previous versions. Then you got your Drastic, which was, you know, available with 4.1, but that is a big deal now, is that they have the um, Nintendo DS support. They did update the you know, main 2016 here, which again was available with 4.1, but now it's on 4.2 as well. Okay, and then the RetroPie Manager, another cool optional package. Like all these are really cool. They've all added new things to the RetroPie experience and uh, allows you to do more instead of just game if you want. Okay, so there's the eight player Bomberman clone. Ah, here it is. So here's the Sega Saturn emulators 260 in the experimental optimized port for the Libretro Sega Saturn emulator as well. Cool. So you just click that and uh, install from source. Okay. It's all in your RetroPie setup there. All the new driver packages and option packages. Very cool. In general, it's still running great. Um, configuration and tools. We have RetroArc, audio settings, auto start. This is all similar. Big edit, simulation station, Raspbian tools. I think that's where your um, install pixel, yep. So they have that there, like they mentioned. So net play, Samba shares, splash screens. Here, oh, here's the USB ROM service. So that uh, gives you the potential to host your um, your ROMs and things on a USB flash drive, which is really cool. And then don't forget to connect to the Wi-Fi if you are going to update or do anything like that. Uninstall RetroPie, for new boot, great. Let me know what you think. What are you most excited about? What are you looking forward to? What's your next project because of this? Are you going to tell all your friends what's going on? Let me know in the comments below. So there you have it. RetroPie version 4.2 on a blank image. I did just want to kind of do it blank because everyone has a different image going on. But just want to show you what it looks like from fresh, from scratch. Uh, I hope you like this video. If you could, please give it a like. Maybe subscribe to the channel. And we'll see you guys on the next one.